Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Today I have the GT300 1080p car dash camera from Gearbest. A little bit of a battered box when it came. Let's show you what's inside. So there's the device itself, the camera with a 2.4 inch LCD screen there and then the back is the camera and lens itself a mount to mount on your uh, windscreen a little sucker you get a really long cable with your car charger really long so you can route it around your, uh, your, your car you also get a little USB micro SD card reader There, and your micro SD card goes, pops in there. You do get a, uh, a four gigabyte SD card with it. USB cable. You can charge your camera through your PC using this as well if you wish. You get a manual. Sort of gets you by. Let's get back to the camera. So the top, the top bit there, that's where the um, the mount goes. I'll show you that in a moment. There is the speaker. Right there, so the where all the sound comes out. Now at the side here you have your power button, you have your mode button, and you have your SD card slot in there. At the moment there is a micro SD card slot in there at the moment. On the other side you have a micro or mini HDMI port, which is handy. You have an AV out there as well, and you have your USB connector there. And on the front you have an OK button, you have a down and up button and a button with a little triangle exclamation mark on it that normally goes back or opens settings and the P button there is the parking button and I'll tell you about that in a moment. So if we turn it on Nice little planet. Now as soon as you turn it on, it starts recording straight away. Okay? Stop recording, you just press OK like that. Okay? Right. Now at the moment we are in video mode. You can tell by the top left there there's a little video camera. Now to change that you press the mode button once on here. Now we are in capture mode camera mode. And to capture a picture you just press OK at the bottom there and it captures a picture. Then change the mode again and that takes you into playback mode um, so you can play back all your files and look at your pictures as well on there. So let's go back to mode and go back to video. Okay, so back on video mode, at the top right there you can see it says 1080p. Above that also gives you the uh, the time left, time available on the SD card. So the SD card will record 1 hour 24 minutes on 1080p. Uh, and if you increase the 1080p or decrease it, then uh, the time will change. Bottom right you've got battery there and your shows your micro SD card there. On the left, that little car with a, um, a couple of brackets around the edge, it's the parking sensor. If the camera detects movement, then the, um, the camera will turn on and start recording immediately. So maybe there's someone trying to get into the car or you get a little knock or something like that. So anyway, you're in, you're in video mode and you want to go to the settings. Settings is always this one here. Okay, and then you can go down change the resolution if you wish. So we've got 1080p at the moment and above that we've got 1080p full HD up there which is 1920 1080 If you scroll down and you've got 720 WVGA which is wide VGA and normal VGA which is a very very standard resolution. Um, so let's just put it on VGA again actually. VGA, press OK. And then I'll show you how much time, recording time you've got with VGA. So it's jumped from 
just over an hour to two hours and 20 minutes. So you would get a hell of a long time, but then you'll get less quality video. So let's go back into the settings, back into resolution, and then let's change it to full HD. You can have loop recording. I've turned it off. So I think after every 10 minutes, it will cut the, the cat, um, it will cut the footage and then restart another one. But I didn't like that, so I just turned that off. We have motion detection as well. Turn it off or on. I have it off, down a bit more. Record audio, yeah, that's on, that's standard. Date stamp, G sensor, that's the um, the parking sensor. You can have it on 2G, 4G and 8G. I believe 2G is more uh, sensitive, so it will turn on when it shakes. I'll show you that in a moment though. If you're there, when you press this again, it takes you to the little spanner. So this is more settings. So you've got part mode, which is basically the same as that G sensor, which I showed you, got the 2G, 4G, and the 8G. Date time, you can set the date and time, auto power off. You can set your screen saver. Beep sound, which I found annoying, so I've turned that off. And language, change the language in there. TV mode, I'm not entirely sure what that is. And then frequency, flash, format, default setting, and just your version number of the actual camera, and then it takes you back to part mode. Okay, so that's the video settings. And you can also see a little P at the top. That's because it's in parking mode as well. I'll show you that in a moment. Okay, so I'll press mode, and now we're in picture mode. Now we go into the settings for the picture. So you can set the resolution for picture. 12, 10, 8 or 5. Um, yeah, but there's a sequence setting, quality setting, fine, normal or economy, back, you can adjust the sharpness, white balance, ISO, exposure and anti-shaking as well. Quick review as well, that's when you take a picture and you can see the picture straight away. And date stamp, that's just the date again. So if you press this menu button again, it will then shift over to the spanner park mode, that's the same again 2G, it will take a picture when uh, the, the text movement, uh, date, time, auto power off, screen saver, beep sound, language, the same settings as the video settings there. So that's the uh, picture mode there, that's your playback mode. So let me just turn it off, it's in parking mode at the minute. I'll turn it off, I'll put my hands away from the power button and I'll give it a little shake, so that much of a shake, <laughs> and it's turned on, there you go, automatically turns on and starts recording there, look, just started recording. Uh, battery life um, probably lasts about an hour. Um, overall it's a great camera but I think the battery life lets it down a little bit. You get about an hour battery life but I had it plugged in to my car with the car charger most of the time anyway so it's very rarely you're going to use the battery but it's there just in case. You also got a little microphone up there look which you can see and that button there which I just pressed up button disables the audio and if you want to turn the parking off press that and then the P disappear the parking settings off. What I also recommend is using a decent micro SD card as well. Um, don't get a cheap uh, a cheap fake one. It recorded the first video but the ones after that got corrupted and playback playback was an issue so definitely get a, uh, a class 10 micro SD card branded and you'll be absolutely fine then. Okay so let me turn this off a moment. Let me guess that this little mount to the back there that's where it pops in okay pops in like that push it on like that and you just twist this till it loosens up so that's pretty maneuverable you can mount that pretty much anywhere really pretty maneuverable and then you just Tighten it up, tight, 
It's sturdy. It's really sturdy. It does stay in the car really well. Wet that a little bit and then you push that up to really secure it onto the glass. Okay, and I'll show you now how I installed it into my car. So this is how I had it set up in the car. I had it running on battery for a little bit but the battery lasts about an hour. So it just simply sticks onto your windscreen and you tighten with this where you want it to move and tighten that up. And then run your cable down into your little charging point there. You can run the cable through the car neatly if you want, but I just had it dangling down just for testing purposes. So that goes in quite quite well and it's really sturdy and it stays there nicely. And so that was the uh, the car set up. Now when you finish recording and you want to look at uh, the videos, get your SD card out from there and then you pop it in this little cool device. So then you can plug that into your PC or laptop and put them there. Plug it into your laptop and then you can get all your videos and pictures straight off it from there. It makes it really easy. Okay, now I'll show you some of the footage I captured while driving to work and back. And um, there's a few resolutions I've tested, 1080p, 720p and down to the VGA as well. So you can see all the qualities that each resolution has to offer. So here are the recordings coming up now. Okay, I'm going to start recording at the minute. It's just running on the battery. Hopefully there's enough battery left. If not, I'll switch over to the in-car charger. And I've only got a 4 gigabyte memory stick in there, so I'm not sure how much footage I'm going to get with that. Let's go. Stuck on my windscreen, straight, straight in the centre, stuck on nice and strong. So, would I recommend this um, camera for your car? Yes, I would. It's £13 on Gearbest at the moment. It's a great price. Battery life is disappointing, but you'd use your car charger in there mainly anyway. When you, if you route it around, around your car correctly, then um, you'll be fine. It captures good video and good audio as well. Um, so for £13, I definitely recommend this and the mini HDMI is a pretty neat option as well to have on your camera although I don't have an HDMI cable but you can just plug that straight into your television and uh, see a live feed from the camera so I think that's pretty neat.
I'll include a link in the description if you would wish to purchase this. So if you have any questions or comments then please comment below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. But again, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.